Hey Vikes, happy Friday. I'm Haley. I'm Cameron and this is your news. Hey Cameron, have you heard about the new teachers? I've seen them around the school, but I don't really know much about them. I went out and got some more information. Let's go check it out. As you may know, we have some new teachers in the building. Let's go learn more about them. I'm Mrs. Welch, and I am an assistant principal at Seaman High School, and I will be working with students in the alphabet letters L through Z, and I'm excited to be a Viking. Hi, my name is Miss Hurt. I teach 10th and 11th grade English. Hi, I'm Ms. Jones. I teach facts classes, um, specifically human growth and development, teen issues, and the leadership class. The new teachers come with various experience levels. I have 25 years in education. I started as an English language arts teacher, and I was a special ed teacher working with gifted students, and I did an internship as an administrator in a college and career center at Lawrence, and I've also been an instructional coach working with teachers. I student taught at Washburn Roll. Last year, I taught fourth grade at Williams Science and Fine Arts Magnet in the 501 School District. They aren't just teachers, they also have other hobbies and interesting facts about themselves. So outside of school, I have two children that attend Perry LeCompton High School and they're active in athletics and all kinds of activities and I live on a farm. So I've got horses, cows, and a therapy llama. Outside of school, I teach dance and I play with my dogs. I swim, I teach swim lessons, I uh, play a lot with my puppies. Uh, one is a Great Dane, so she'll be huge by the time she's full grown. Uh, hang out with my kids who are in seventh and eighth grade, watch movies, read books, lots of things. Haley, those are some interesting facts. Yeah, I had a lot of fun interviewing them. Now to your daily news. If you would like to volunteer for the Writing Center, you need to see Miss Sands in room W6 before the end of the day. Please make sure you're parking in the correct row. The letters are found at the end of each row. If you have any issues, talk to Officer McKay. There's a meeting for anyone interested in going to Boston, New York City, and who is a freshman, sophomore, or junior. The meeting is in Mr. Elliott's room on September 5th. District Wellness Night is next Wednesday here at the high school from 6.30 to 8. Put on the Brakes is offering a driver training course on September 22nd at Heartland Park. See Mr. Tinsley for more information. Today is the last day to submit your online application and turn in your paper enrollment form to Ms. Welch or Ms. Varno. Varner. Also, it is the last day to drop a class and receive a tuition refund. Please see Ms. Welch or Ms. Varner if you have any questions or concerns. Are you interested in robotics? Come to the first meeting during activity period on Wednesday, September 5th in N15. Talk to Mr. Kuhn in N15 or Ms. Halpin in N11 if you have any questions. Charts for the Scholars Bowl team are during activity period on Wednesday, September 5th in the Writing Center inside the library. If you cannot attend the tryouts, please contact Ms. Metner prior to tryouts via email or in person in the library. There is a meeting for any student interested in playing Dungeons and Dragons on Wednesday, September 5th during activity period in Ms. Goebel's room in 12. Now we'll look at sports after the quick commercial break. Make sure to attend events and give a welcoming and safe environment for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Be courteous with all and display good sportsmanship. <laughs> keep facilities clean and follow school policies and procedures. Display school spirit, win with character, lose with dignity, be a Viking, attend school events. The theme for our season opener tonight against Highland Park at Hummer Sports Park is blue out. Congratulations to the following girls golfers on their second place finish. Follow Spirit Club on Instagram and Twitter at Spirit Club SHS. For students that have qualified for a free or reduced meal program, you can stop by the athletic office for an athletic pass. 
Now over to weatherman Josh Duncan to find out how the weather is looking for this Labor Day weekend. Happy Friday to you. It is the final day of meteorological summer, and you know what that means? Our days are getting shorter, and our average high temperatures are getting lower. Check this out. Over the next four months, our average high temperatures fall an average of over 10 degrees per month, and that leaves us by the end of the year averaging a high of just 39 degrees. It is that time of year where temperatures start to take a tumble. But for the football game tonight, it's pretty pleasant weather out there. First quarter, 88 degrees, and then by the end of the game, we'll tracking temperatures falling into the lower 80s. Now, as we take a look at your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that we do have quite a few storm chances, but I want to emphasize that there is going to be plenty of dry time throughout your Labor Day weekend and into the portions of next week that we, that we have shown here. But with that being said, we can't rule out storms at pretty much any time in the seven-day forecast today, today, though, should be mostly dry. Now, back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great Labor Day weekend.